just a normal family. A little awkward, sometimes weird, loud and crazy. Wait, did I say normal? Oops, my bad. Stick around. Get to know us. We have Cheyenne and Tyree. This is Savannah. I'm Michelle. And this is The Shell Bill Life. So we're home from church, but you see something that's wrong? I do. <laughs> that crack right there, or that opening, that bugs me. When I'm standing by the stove, I can see completely out. So I am actually going to um, move everything over just a touch. Okay, much better, even though there's a still a tiny little um, opening right there you cannot see in as much or I can't see out as much. Good morning, it is Tuesday. Have you guys ever left the house and thought, I just wanna stay home, be in my bed, watch TV for me, Grey's Anatomy? Yes, that's the feeling I'm getting right now because I don't wanna go, but I have to go, you guys. Gotta be an adult. Oh, forgot to turn the alarm on, hold on. All right, you guys, so <clears throat> I am home from work. Jump ahead to Thursday. I know the last clip you guys seen was maybe Monday or Tuesday, and I didn't vlog anymore throughout the day. Yeah, so anyway, today is two, nope. Today is Thursday, happy Thursday. And I'm at home, and I don't think I told you guys, but ladies' Bible study has been changed. It is no longer on Friday night. The pastor's wife, the one who is in charge of ladies' Bible study, she actually wanted our Friday night, her Friday nights back because it's really busy for her schedule on Friday. So we all took a vote, and we all felt the same way because, I mean, I love Bible study, but at the same time, I miss my Friday nights being able to just do whatever I want. So we change it to Thursday night. So today is Thursday and Bible study is here tonight and I'm kind of getting ready. It's not till seven and it is, it's only 5.30 right now so I still have a little time and I'm not really cooking. I just have stuff that I bought from Winco and maybe I'll show you guys in a bit. But yeah, that's about it y'all. All right, you guys, Bible study is over, and I know I told you guys I was gonna show you the food and whatever like that. Didn't get a chance to because everything, um, oops. <laughs> Once everything started, everything just like, people started coming and stuff like that. So of course I don't pull the camera out when they are here. And it's just me home right now because Tariq is at work. And what else? Savannah's friend Evie, she turned 18 last month and she got a car for her birthday. So she is showing Savannah and Cheyenne her car. They are taking it for a spin around the block, which they've been gone 15 minutes. So how many blocks are they going around? So yeah, but I do have work tomorrow and I'm just actually gonna get ready for bed and just continue this tomorrow. Good afternoon, everyone. It is Friday. Workday is over, I'm so excited. And right now I am taking Savannah to do a photo shoot for, I forgot what it's called. Let you guys in on it when I find out what the name of the company is. Okay, so we're back home and what we went to really quick was like a practice photo shoot because Savannah and Evie are going to be modeling for a modest clothing company clothing line because it's hard for us to find modest clothing for our faith you know we're apostolic and this lady she has a company and she sells modest dresses skirts and stuff like that for women 
and she features models in them and she just has a small company right now. Savannah and Evie are going to be modeling some dresses from her new line that's coming out soon and she wanted them to actually practice walking in heels. She basically wanted to see if they knew how to walk in heels and for her to tell them how to pose. So that's what they're going to be doing tomorrow morning. That's what we just came from. So yeah, I'm really super tired right now, you guys. So this whole week, so I don't know if it was because we made the round trip trip to Southern California and then we lost the hour, but this whole work week, seemed like one continuous long day to me. It seemed like after work when I came home, that was like my lunch break, and then all of a sudden I was right back at work. I was so tired. After Bible study, I went to Dutch Brothers and I got a coffee. And normally, I could drink coffee at night, right? And it does not have effect on me, but then I have to have it in the morning to keep me awake. Makes no sense, I don't know. I drank it and I was like literally wired. I was up in bed like at one o'clock, 1.30, just like blink, blink, eyes wide open. And I had to force myself to go to sleep. Once I finally went to sleep, the alarm clock went off. I get up at 5.45 on my early days and I just like sat straight up out of bed like I never went to sleep. I was not even tired. <laughs> so I only worked five hours on Friday, right? And so I was still wired. And then when I came home from work about an hour after that, that's when it hit me. And I was sleeping until Savannah said, mom, the lady said we can come over now to try on the dresses. So now we're back. And I was gonna try to vlog a little bit, you know, to show you guys before or what they were doing, but I just didn't. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow. Um, I'm going to be there for a little while but then I have to leave. So yeah, maybe you guys will get to see it tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday. I know I have my camera at a very weird angle. I hope it does not fall. Anyway, I'm just letting my car warm up. I say it's Saturday. Yeah, it's nine o'clock on a Saturday morning and I'm up. I'm actually going to have lunch with no, not lunch, nine o'clock, we're not having lunch. Having breakfast with a really good friend of mine, one of those friends who you cannot see for a long time and when we meet up, everything, it's like nothing ever changed. We can still laugh and giggle. Um, if she lets me show you guys, then I will show you guys who she is. Um, we seem like we've known each other since the wound. We haven't. Then today, I'm going to be babysitting some kids from the church. I don't think I'll put them on video because um, I just don't think it's right that I you know, put other people's kids out there who do not know I'm doing YouTube, number one, and then haven't given me permission to put their kids out there. So maybe I'll show you like the back of their heads or whatever, I don't know. So it's the, fam the let me tell you what's going on first. So the married couples in our church are having an outing and they're going like paint night, but not night, paint day, whatever like that. And this family, um, normally would have someone to watch the kids but they don't today so the oldest girl she's 10 and then they have a three-year-old son and then a baby who's five months she's the baby is the cutest thing ever she has rolls upon rolls upon rolls she's so chunky and yeah i'll show you guys like the back of her she's just so cute i wish i could show you guys her face but i'm not going to do that so anyway um yeah that's on the agenda today um, before all this happened, I planned on going out to breakfast with my friend and then coming home and painting because Savannah finally got paint for her room and I was going to help her paint and then after that start painting the dining room. We can still do that when the kids leave later, but I don't know, energy may be gone. It's been a long time since I had little ones around you guys and I don't know if when they leave I'm going to have the energy to do things in my house <laughs> we shall see anyway so we are going to i was about to say cracker barrel no we're going to oh my god i can't even think of that place stagecoach we're going earlier because i want to have time to talk with her and catch up and also 
you know not have to rush because I have to come back home to watch the kids later so I told you guys about Savannah and Evie doing the modeling for the modest clothing line well the lady um, called us last night and she was waiting for her shipment to come in for this new line and some of the girls sizes like Evie and Savannah and a couple other girls their sizes did not come in she was waiting on it it was supposed to come in yesterday and it didn't possibly next week so that's to be determined. Yeah, look at her new car. It's an Infinity. Q60. Q60. Ooh, check her out. She grown now. Can I show you? For your for the video. Oh, yeah, okay. This is my friend Tracy. Hello, everyone. Hi, this is my bestie from birth almost. <laughs> Aww. She's so chunky. Look at her legs. Aww. She's five months old. Look who I have. She is so adorable, but I can't show you guys because not mine to show. But she's so cute. She's five months old. Oh my goodness, you guys. I know you guys can't actually see who I have, but this is a whole lot of cuteness I'm holding. She is so adorable, so chunky. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? And she's gnawing on her birthing cloth or cloth and rag, whatever it's called. Y'all, my youngest one is 17. I don't even know what this stuff is they have anymore. But she's so cute. And she's so chunky. I love that. I love chunky little babies. <laughs> okay, y'all. They are gone. Whew. I am so tired. So exhausted. Um, so we watched three of them. A 10-year-old, a 3-year-old, and a 5-month-old. The baby and the 10 year old were chill and good. That three year old has so much energy. And when I wasn't holding the baby, Savannah was entertaining him and helping him. And when Savannah was holding the baby, I was doing it. Whew, Savannah, when they left, Savannah said, I'm never having kids. Mama, how did you do it? It's different when it's your own kids. But yeah, they're gone now. And the baby was so cute. She was so just like cuddly and laughing and giggling and it was funny because my living room was a mess because they had their toys and all their baby stuff and everything just thrown about my living room and it was okay but I'm like this is probably how it's gonna be when I have grandkids and when they're over grandkids wow that's wow all right you guys I know I look a mess but there's a reason for that see I'm in Savannah's room I know those are good I'm in Savannah's room and we are finally about to paint these walls they're all primed and it's still gonna be white but it's like a really bright white finally and it's white but still she picked a color and then she's just gonna do other accents right no okay she doesn't want me to show her so anyway this is why I put this on because I don't want paint getting in my hair because sometimes I'm a mess when it comes to painting and we're gonna get started and I may show you guys tonight if not then I'll show you guys when it's done all right y'all so her her walls are finished look how dirty her blinds look compared to the new paint we put up I am going to be getting her some new blinds and I will put that up but yeah we ran out of paint so there are some imperfections that we are going to have to fix. I don't even think we have to buy a whole another gallon, not even a half a gallon. Maybe like, is it called a quart? The ones that's like that size? I don't know. Anyway, so we'll buy that and then we'll be finished with her room. I'm so excited. She is finally doing something with this, you guys. I'm happy. So the minute she says, mom, let's do it and I want white, I jumped on it. It's like, yeah, because these walls have been... You guys have seen it primed and paint painted over in different spots for like a year, year and a half. So, yay! 